the fact that we are even discussing this point of privilege, the fact that it has been raised, is only because the honourable honourable member has taken that duty and obligation seriously, has come to this House and has corrected the record. Had he not corrected the record, one would simply presume that what had been said was correct. And this is the moral hazard that the member from Kingston and the Island speaks of. I think we want to, in addition to giving everybody the benefit of the doubt, also provide an environment where we are indeed encouraging and uh, them to all members to carry out that duty and obligation to on those occasions when we misspeak. And, uh, it's quite common for us to misspeak in the nature of conversation, and I can understand the error made by the Honourable Member in this particular instance relating to the question of voting cards, because I think there are probably very few members of this House who have not second or third hand heard anecdotes to exactly to that effect. I know I personally have heard anecdotes from others, and uh, not having witnessed it myself, is different than having heard an anecdote, but having heard that quite regularly, it becomes part of your normal discourse that this is what happens out there. This is what everybody, quote, knows happens out there. And it's a risk and a concern that has to be addressed, one of the reasons why I think it's being addressed in this legislation. But I don't think you want to create an environment whereby when uh, members take seriously their obligation to correct the record, take seriously their obligation to be truthful to this House, and do come to this House and do exactly that, that we then make that an occasion to create a finding of contempt against them. I think we want to create an environment where indeed members are, as we do with unparliamentary language, when we ask them to apologize and they do appropriately, that, that is an appropriate remedy and is almost always accepted by the Speaker as appropriate for the circumstances. I think in the same circumstance, this House should encourage and accept the occasions when a member takes seriously their obligation uh, to come to this House and correct the record as the member for Mississauga Streetsville has done in this particular case. Uh, I uh, uh, don't want to leave the argument at that point. I do think it's important that the member for Mississauga Streetsville also be given an opportunity to speak to this himself, and uh, so I would ask that you uh, give him that opportunity. Yeah, well, uh... Opposition House Leader. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I too would look forward to that. We actually had assumed, since the member from Mississauga Streetville had a speaking spot yesterday afternoon, that that's what he would do. Three important things that have happened here that leave me uh, more confirmed in our belief that this is a contempt of Parliament based on what the government House Leader has said. Allow me first to say that there is some urgency to this. I would encourage the member in question that he seeks uh, a space to speak as soon as possible because this bill is before us in Parliament right now. It, it, it seems to be that the government house leader is now offering praise to the member for having fabricated and story, a story entirely and that we should give him great thanks for having returned and admitted to having misled the house. That actually isn't the environment that we look to create, where members can take what he called anecdote and things that they've heard and turn it into what the member from Mississauga Streetsville said. And what he said is, I have actually witnessed other people picking up voting cards. He didn't say someone told me a story. He didn't say I'd heard about this or there's some conspiracy theory out there. He went on later to say, after some time and reflection, I will relate to something that I have actually seen. I have seen campaign workers follow, pick up dozens of them afterwards, and then go on to say that they committed fraud, voter fraud, in the last election. This coming from the Conservative Party, who is in court right now having to defend serious accusations of actual voter fraud. My, my, my point is this, that this isn't misspeaking. To say I misspoke says uh, the event occurred on a Tuesday when, when, upon reflection, it was actually Wednesday. It was an honest mistake. This was no honest mistake. He fabricated a story to justify voting for a flawed government bill. He totally invented it. 